Okay guys, welcome back. This is number two of my top trading tips. If you haven't catched the last one, go back and check it out. That's talking about charts, keeping them clean, about indicators, traps to fall into. So this is the second part of my top trading tips. And my first one here, this is all around the um, global kind of, is that the right word I'm looking for, but the sort of broad framework of mindset, psychology, discipline, and well-being. And it's one of my favorite kind of topics. I'm only going to touch on it here. If you want more of this kind of content, you like this kind of stuff, hit the like button and we'll know to do more of this kind of stuff. Subscribe because we've got loads more cut stuff coming up in terms of psychology, discipline, uh, well-being, and all that, all the, all the good stuff that comes into becoming a, you know, a good trader. So um, the first one for me is to take regular breaks. Wow, that sounds really like the most useless piece of advice ever. Thanks very much for that. Honestly, it sounds really boring and dull and like, oh, you take regular breaks. I want to grind. I want to do it. I want to make money. Listen, we all want to make money and we're all in the same boat here, guys. We want to make as much money as possible for the least risk as possible. That's kind of my mantra of trading. Uh, and it probably makes sense for a lot of you as well is, but you can't give, okay, especially if you're, in fact, if you're day trading, swing trading, it doesn't matter. You know, you can't give 100% all day long. You might think you can, and maybe you can for a short period of time, but trust me, you've been there, done it. You know, you're flat out from 6 a.m. to kind of 10 p.m. at night, and you look at and you haven't eaten anything, and all you've done is to get up and go to the toilet if you're a day trader. That, it just, you can't do that for a long period of time. You have to take regular breaks. And the same if you're swing trading. You know what? If you're swing trading and you're constantly making these decisions and you're in trades, take a regular break. Close off the portfolio, flatten all the positions, cancel all your orders, take a break from the market for a couple of weeks, couple of months, whatever. Just give yourself the chance, your mind to clear of all this kind of input and clutter that you kind of get up with. Because it may seem like you're doing okay, and there are times, okay, from a day trading perspective where you want to be on it, it's making you money, the market's working well, you want to press it and press it and press it. I'm an advocate for that. But at some point, you know, you have to take uh, you know, take heed from the market and take lead from the market and say, listen, the conditions are, are cooling off a little bit. Let me have a break. I'm going to take a couple of days off or if you're swing trading a couple of weeks off, whatever it is, adjust it to your time frame because you can't give 100% and honestly, it will help your bottom line in the end. So the other one I've got on here is exercise, okay? Because exercise just just helps the blood flow you know it helps to stimulate your mind your creativity your uh, thinking ability it just really helps to um you know get the blood flow in it allows you to let off steam you know if you're if you're in the gym and you're pushing weights or if you're jogging and you're you're kind of doing a bit of sprinting a bit of interval training or even if you're going for a long walk or whatever you like to do for exercise, even if it is just a walk, even if you're not really an athletic type, um, then that's fine. Because honestly, sitting all day long, we know it's no good for us. I try and use a standing desk now, maybe I'll do another video about that in the future, to try to get the blood flow, because I've been sitting for just so many years in front of screens, it kind of is not really the healthiest thing to do. But if you can inter put the break in. If you're day trading, definitely, definitely, definitely exercise, even if you're swing trading. Perhaps if you're swing, even if you're swing trading from a part-time perspective, you know, adding exercise into your life routine is never a bad thing. Listen, I'm not a health junkie. I'm not pretending to, pretend to be a health junkie. I enjoy some things that you wouldn't do if you're a health junkie. I like, you know, my red meats. I like some drink from time to time, that kind of stuff. But I still try to get the blood flowing because I know that is when my decisions are at the best. It's no when I'm I'm more centered, I'm calmer, um, and it just makes you feel good as well. If you come back from a, a good run, whether it's raining, whether it's sunny, whatever, have your shower, get yourself prepared for the day. Even if even if you're a swing trader, okay, and you do that, you come back before you glance through your charts. You know you screen your charts at a certain amount, of certain period of time during the day. Do the exercise before. You, the clarity will be so clear and I know it is for me and I know it is for many others and it may well be for you perhaps you already do that implementing your routine that's cool if you do um so uh I think I've skipped on a bit here ah here's another one here's okay uh let's uh let's go with this one have a hobby or interest have a hobby or interest outside of trading honestly this seems 
you know, when you're trading and if, if, if you're struggling, and I can relate to that because, you know, I know myself struggling a lot in my early days of my career, and it feels like it's the most counterintuitive thing to do ever is have another hobby or another interest. You think, well, I've got time. I need to be analyzing the markets. I need to be doing this. I need to be this. But having something that is completely different and, you know, takes your mind off it completely, allows you to immerse yourself completely in it is something that is going to help your trading dramatically. Now, for me, I when I got up to a point where it became feasible for me to do this, I ended up becoming doing private pilot lessons. Now that may be a little bit of a stretch. I understand that when I was first trading out, there's no way I could have done that. But I did things like, um, you know, sports, getting involved in sports, you know, other hobbies, perhaps like, uh, even if, honestly, even if it's going to watch a film, right? You go and watch a film, you go in there during the day on the set, only by yourself in the cinema, it takes you two hours. Okay, sitting down is not so great, but it, what it does is it, it, the point is it's not the same as the exercise, is it? It takes you out of thinking about the markets because honestly, if you're like most traders, you are always thinking about the markets. You're always thinking about how you're gonna make your next trade, you know, what you should be doing, your setup, your discipline, your strategy. It never leaves you. This is a job for, it's kind of a 24 hour a day job. It's Sometimes you're even dreaming about it. You wake up, the first thing you do, you're glancing at the markets on your phone. All these kind of things. But honestly, if you take the time to have that separate, um, you know, hobby or interest, you know, it comes down to the work hard, play play hard thing. Obviously, if you've got the funds to be able to do something more exciting, uh, then great. You know, do something that really entices you. Whether that's you know racing cars, I did a lot. I did a lot of motorsport. Um, you know, whether that's just cycling competitively, not very expensive, but you can still do that. It doesn't have to be something that costs you a lot of money. Uh, even swimming, you know, swimming was something that I did for quite a long time when I was trading as well. And maybe I should do a bit more of it now, but it's something that just takes your mind off it because you're focused on jogging or swimming or driving or fly, whatever it may be. So just that extra interest, doesn't matter what level we're talking about here, guys. It's just a matter of doing something different. Okay, so the other one I've got on here is nutrition. Have I spot that right? Yes, I have. Eating healthy, and I play eating healthy-ish because, do you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna stand here and tell you that you wanna eat all your vegetables, you gotta eat superfoods and all that stuff. You know that, I know that, but you know, we live in the real world here, guys. If you're doing that, then more kudos to you and credit to you because obviously that's gonna do that. And if you can be as healthy as you can, the best. But I know that, you know, just things like not eating a massive fry up, for example, 30 minutes before you're about to trade. Okay, even that is like a good step forward. You know, not bogging your digestive system down with loads of food so you can't make a, a, a clear decision. So just things like that. And, 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 and when you're, if you feed yourself the right things, and I'm not saying don't, you know, don't enjoy a beer if you like beer or don't enjoy, you know, foods if you like that. And this is really way out of my kind of expertise area. But I just know from my perspective that if I just ate a little bit lighter, a little bit healthier during the trading day, I felt clearer and calmer. I could make my decisions. And the same as your swing trading as well, guys. Um, in the day, I'm approaching this from the angle that you wanna make some good money at trading. You wanna make a kind of career out of it, even if it's a part-time supplementary income or if it's a full-time trading job. Uh, well, however that is, I'm assuming that you're approaching it seriously and from a business. And so from that perspective, you know, all these things are kind of nothing to do with trading, but they really are because they really will help um, your bottom line. Okay, uh, if you like this kind of video, guys, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Next video, we're gonna talk a little bit about um quitting for the day psychological damage from losses um and and sort of cool things like that so stay tuned come back see you in a bit